coach and if this is your first time watching this youtube channel please remember to subscribe and share all our videos i'm going to talk in this episode about phd because over the weeks i've had few comments and questions coming through on how people can apply for phd and actually the myths and misconceptions so we will talk more about that and i have only three myths and misconceptions that i'm going to clear people's minds of so let's get started <laughs> Guys, you're welcome back to iCourage. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Now, let's start with the first myth and misconception that people have about PhD study. Now, people might think that you need to be a genius to do a PhD. Well, the big answer is no. You don't need to be a genius to do a PhD. Remember, PhD is actually not an intelligent test. They are not going to test your IQ. Basically, PhD is a research program and you will be an expert in a specific area on a specific topic so you are just going to finish your phd and be called an expert on a specific topic so you're not going to finish your phd and be a genius so that's one thing you need to take note of and many people also think that they need an mphil master of philosophy to be able to apply for a phd program the big answer is a no. You don't need to study a master of research or a master of philosophy program before you can apply to study a PhD program. Well, all you need to know is that PhD is solely a research program. And so before you can apply to study, you need to have a research background. And so students who have done a bachelor of um, a bachelor's degree honors or a master's degree by coursework with, with a research component or a master's degree by research can still apply for a PhD. So the requirement is not only for master of philosophy so if you don't have a master of philosophy and you still are interested in applying for a phd course remember you can use your masters by coursework which has a research component or if you have a bachelor's honors degree with a research component or a dissertation you can still apply just make sure that you have few publications available just to share it to the um, admissions team that you've got that very experience now the third myth and this conception that I really want to clear is that many people think that once you complete your PhD program, you are going to be automatically in academia. Academia, I mean, you're going to be a researcher or a staff or a university lecturer. Many people think that once you do a PhD, you're going to lecture in a higher education. Well, the answer is no. So you don't need to necessarily use your PhD qualification or your PhD degree to lecture in a university. Some universities actually have internships for PhD students. So when you are a PhD candidate, you have an opportunity to do internship in the industry so you can develop your professional skills. You can also develop your presentation skill while you're doing your pre PhD because you have the opportunity to attend academic conferences and present your papers, develop your public speaking skills. So all these skills can help you to go into industry if you don't want to be in academia or you don't want to be or work in a research company. So these are the three myths and misconceptions that many people have about PhD. First of all, just remember that you don't need to be uh, a genius. You don't need to be exceptionally intelligent to do a PhD. You need to make sure you satisfy the minimum requirement for the university. Also, you don't need a, you don't need an MPhil to study a PhD. All you need to do is have a research experience, research background, master of research, master of a master master of coursework program with a research component or bachelor's degree honors to apply and finally if you are done with your phd you can do anything and everything not necessarily working in a university as an academic guys i hope these three tips really clear your 
myths and misconceptions about PhD and if you are interested just jump into it but in a subsequent episode I will dedicate few of them to um, how to apply for a PhD program scholarships available the documents that you need to submit and I will also um, advertise some juicy scholarships that are also available for students who are interested in studying PhD program it's really a rewarding journey and I know that for people who are interested in research, you will love it. This is iCoach. Remember, I'm just going to leave you here for now and I'll talk to you more about PhD scholarships, applications, admissions in our subsequent episodes. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, be an iCoach member, like my videos. And if you have any question, please feel free to send it to my email address or leave it in the comment section on my YouTube page. Remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I coach with BM. We rise together.